Hey guys, it's Greg from BitCobbin again, and today I'm back with yet another Linux Basics video, this time on how to mount a network file share on Linux. It's actually a fairly simple process requiring editing only one file or running simply one command. So yeah, let's just get to it and crank this one out. <laughs> you smell that? It smells like a bit goblin. All right, so I'm here on my Alma Linux VM where I'll be showing you how to mount a network file share. Don't worry if you're using another Linux distribution like Ubuntu, Fedora, or something else. The commands will pretty much be the same thing. If there are any differences, I'll point them out. But so real quick, before we get started with actually mounting the share, we need to make sure our system is actually ready to, you know, mount it. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And we're going to install the CIFS-Utils package. The reason this is required is so that Linux knows what a Windows file share is and how to mount it, all that fun stuff. And so how to do this is actually very simple. The command we need to run is just sudo dnf install, oops, install, spell it correctly, that's important, cifs-utils. Again, spell that correctly. Hit enter, type in your password, yada, yada, yada. I already have it installed. Your Linux distribution probably will also have it installed since this is a very common process. But if it doesn't, then you'll want to run this. There is a slight difference here if you're using a Debian-based distribution like Debian, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Pop! OS. The command is actually sudo apt install cifs-utils. Minor difference, but it's actually very important, so you have the right command. So the first thing we want to take a look at is mounting a share permanently or, to get more technical, persistently. And all this means is that your share will mount when your system is booting up and then unmount when your system is turning off or whenever you choose to unmount it manually. So to do this, we need to edit a system file called fstab. I'm going to open up this file in Vim, but you can open this file up in any text editor that you choose. Nano, Vim, Sublime Text, VS Code, whatever is fine with you. Just make sure that you open up your text editor with super user privileges since this file is protected. So for example, I'm going to open it up sudo vim then slash etsy slash fs tab. Boom. All right, now that we're here in the fs tab file, this file contains the partition mounting information for your entire system. The lines I have right here at the bottom, these bottom three lines are for the root file system slash boot and then uh, swap space on my system. Do note that if you mess up this file, you can mess up your system booting. All I would say to that is just be careful. And if you're really worried to make a copy of this file and put it somewhere else that you know is safe so that you can copy it back in in the event of an error. What I'm going to do here at the very bottom of this file, I'm going to add a couple lines. I just like leaving an extra line of space to kind of denote like here's like the main system and then here's other like network shares and stuff. So on this new line, we need to add a line entry for the file share that we're going to mount. The syntax for this file may seem archaic at first, but it's actually pretty simple. I'm going to run through all the six fields and then I'll explain them as we go through. So the first field is the location of the mount. Second field is where you want to actually mount the share on your local system. The third field is the type of file system that the mount is. The fourth field is any extra options you want to mount your share with as a comma separated list. And then the last two fields are actually not that important. It's more file system maintenance stuff, but I've never had to set them to anything special. And I usually just leave them at zero. But so adding an entry for this file share, let's say we have a NAS with the host name of nas.example.com and a file share just called my stuff. So this would be the location of the file share. We add two forward slashes and then we put in the host name nas.example.com and then slash the name of your share. As I said, I'm calling it my stuff. They need to add a tab or space after the location. Next up is where you want to mount the share on your local system. You can mount this wherever you want. You can make a directory in your home directory slash mount anywhere else. I'm going to put this in the BitGoblin users home directory. So slash home slash BitGoblin slash NAS. Now the third field is the type of file system that the mount is. As I said earlier, this is a Windows file share. So we need to use a CAFS. Oops. CIFS file system. The fourth field is that comma separated list of options. For the most part, we can just leave it as it is, but since this is a Windows file share and typically they have credentials that you need to log in with, I'm going to specify credentials equals home slash bitgoblin slash, let's just call the file smb.txt. So the way that Linux will know the credentials to mount your file share with, you just create a simple text file and I'll show you how to create that in a moment with the username and password. And then also one more thing I'm going to do is 
put a comma there for another option, and then UID, oops, UID equals BitGoblin. Oh my gosh, can't type right now. UID equals BitGoblin. And what this will do is it will mount the file share and make sure that this user, UID equals BitGoblin, has access to that share. And so for the last two fields, like I said earlier, I just set them to zero and then zero. Very simple, but all right. Simple enough. What we need to do is make a directory where we're going to mount the NAS. And to do that, we're going to run the command make dir, which is M-K-D-I-R. And then let's just call it NAS. It, we're already in our home directory. And you can verify that with the PWD command. And then we're also going to create that smb.txt file for the credentials to log into the share. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm opening this up in Vim. Again, any, any text editor will do. So the format of this file is extremely simple. Just username equals BitGoblin or whatever your username is for the file share. And then password equals test password. Extremely simple. Save and quit on the file. Well, I made a whoopsie and actually typed the password in for something else, which is why I went ahead and cleared in my terminal. Did not want to show that to you guys because that would be stupid. But anyways, so at this point, we're pretty much on the home stretch. If we just type in sudo mount nas, or if you want to be more specific, then type in sudo mount slash home slash bitgoblin slash nas. But then if you do a df dash h. So yeah, now we see mounted nas.example.com slash my stuff. It has a good bit of space available to it and mounts it on home slash bitgoblin slash nas. All right, so now mounting the share temporarily using a single command is a little bit easier, a little bit more straightforward. It's all done with one simple mount command. But so the syntax is actually rather similar to that Etsy FS tab file. So basically the command is mount. Again, we'll need sudo because we're doing more super user stuff. So sudo mount. Let's start with the file system type. So tcifs. Again, this is like the Windows file share type. Then we need to do minus O for options and then username equals bitgoblin. You can put a comma, password equals whatever, but I would highly recommend not putting your plain text password into like your, your uh, prompt and possibly saving that into your bash history. It can be done again, just comma password equals well, yada, 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 but it will prompt you if you have the O username equals bitgoblin. But for other options, we do want to add UID equals bitgoblin again. And then now we put in the location of the mount. So slash slash nas.example.com slash my stuff and then slash home oops wow that was terrible slash home bitgoblin nas hit enter we're getting prompted for the password so we need to do whatever your password is for that share and boom it's mounted the only difference for this is that it will mount it the same exact way as etsy fs tab will it just will not persist over reboot so if i mounted this did not have that entry in my fs tab file and then rebooted the NAS share would not mount when I come back up. Usually this is really good for temporary mounts, like if you're just trying to pull a file from someone else's share, or if you're trying to test things before putting it into Etsy FS tab. So yeah, that's actually pretty easy stuff. So yeah, there you have it. Nice and easy, nothing crazy about it, and just super simple. As always, let me know if you'd like to by pounding that like button really hard and subscribing so you can see future videos just like this one. Also, leave me any feedback or suggestions for future Linux basic videos or just any videos in general in the comment section below and go hit me up on the BitGoblin Discord server and just, you know, chat me up. Hope you have a good day and I will catch you in the next one.